everyone, welcome to my channel again. And well, today I'm bringing you a new table for Aska. Uh, I've been working for that for the whole week, and finally I got a very stable table that I've been playing. I mean, like for hours, and it's not crashing anything. So anyway, turn on the games, and this is the table. Is it the table? Yes, it is. So now we activate a master script, it attached to the game, and you can see here we have quite some option. There's some option that uh, is not supposed to be here, but I, I still put it there. Don't use it, I put that there, so I do not have to um, save too many tables that I want to share and one to not share. So that I put a note with that do not use it. Okay, it's not working. If you if you use it, it will crash your games. Um, anyway, I think I want to move this one out because we don't need these, and this one can go out. Move them over there. So now we have all of these. First of all, we had a max food, water, and temperature need that uh, I, I separate into two coded. Um, and you can only activate one, like if you activate one and you can activate the other one, okay? Because I have some requests asking me to make it like to for the, the, the food and water temperature need only work for player and not for your villager. Then we have to hit kill this one in the breakfast table, so no need to talk about infinite tool use. You can use your tool infinitely if they will not broken. Uh, no building decay, which means your building will not you will not lose in your building through the time. Um, this also like how to say I believe that the the monster they cannot attack in your building. Like when they're attacking your building, your, your the HP of your building constantly stay at the maximum level. Uh, no spoilage, your food and thing like this one right here. Let me see, did I, I didn't activ activate it? But all of your food, so you see, like the uh, durability of the wild egg, egg is like 80 over 100 right now. I activated one and it goes to 100. So your food will no longer be spoiled. Okay, uh, item duplicating this one change the stacks item 999. Not 99. Um, let me change this one right here. So on line 66 right here is the stack size of every item including your uh, weapon to anything. Um, it's gonna make you store like tons of items. So let me try to activate this one. And you can see here I have 81 uh, piece of uh, big food right here and you can see that with the uh, um, item duplicating multiplier it go to this much see that I have 243 chunk of meat okay uh, gen small item okay this one this strip eventually can change any inventory size so I'm gonna put this at chain inventory size by moving item around um, the way this one work is like let me move it out a little bit so you can see right here you see that uh, question mark right there right so when I move around you see that it changed so 24 is the size of your inventory here 4 times 6 equal 24 you can change it to basically whatever number you want you can even increase it to a bigger size like this right but I do not recommend you doing that um, Sometimes like when I don't put in these and then when you uh, change it back you might lose those items. So let's try let's see repair the 24 and it disappear. It's not dropping. So again use that as your caution. I use that to to make a comparison for the duplicating script but we no longer need that anymore. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, send in here. You can update in this one right there. You can change it to again whatever you want, and you can see way more here. 
So it's good if you need to go far from your base, increasing the the size of your uh, inventory, load a ton of stuff, bring them back, put them in storage, and change it back to normal. Okay. Uh, the fast skill level up was there, so just um, if you need to. Why is the item multiplying scrapies in here? Let me delete that. Uh, the fast skill level up is if you want just it will affect every skill that you have and whenever you do something that increase your skill this one is a multiplier so you can change it to like 999 for example let me throw this down and let's say I'm gonna get something here good collection and you can see that the world level up quickly okay and finite stamina uh, where is my finite health? I move it down here. So, in finite stamina and finite health working together. Um, and not really working together, but you know, you can acti activate them at the same time, not a big deal. You can basically activate everything. Just like this. Instant build. Um, I have a question about instant build and not instant build. Okay. So, for example, this building right here, with that, you see that uh, 0 over 10 down on my screen. <clears throat> right, so, instead of you have to hit in the building 10 times, with the instant build, you only hit, need to hit one time. Uh, it just makes like, more quality of life, make it faster to build something. But you still need to put in the material, okay? Wood burn controller, I do not know how to uh, name this thing. It work with not just wood but charcoal as well and the reason why I put it in here is because sometimes you want slow burn for example you want your campfire to burn for a longer time right ignite it take a little bit of time one of the, the script causing the wet wood I don't know which one but it doesn't matter just take a little bit of time Okay, so the script is disabled right now, which means it's at a uh, very default level of full burning, right? And let's see when I change it to quick burn, you can see it go faster, really fast. And now I put it back to slow burn, okay? And see, so this one make it basically like burning forever, all right? We had an option over there because if you want to make charcoal and you put it on the slow burn mode, you will never get the charcoal. It's going to take years in real life. Okay. Time control, very straightforward. You can just freeze it. That's it. You can change the day of the year. I can change day of year to 70 and you can see the season change. We're having spring here. I change the day set and then we got winter. Here we go. And it's gonna change all the event in the game too. See that a pack of hungry smoke is approaching stuff. But I can put it back to day 10. And we go back to here. Springtime, good time. No thing scary. Um I can freeze time here. I usually like to put it at 10 a.m. So let's put it back to 10 a.m. and um, let's see, do I have anything in here? No, I remember this one over here. So this is the, I think this is the last thing in the <coughs> table. Upper time changing. Uh, okay, so for example, I get some Jordan plus shot in here. One thing that I don't know is sometimes if you put like the stack too high, um, when you save and then when you load the game the item will disappear so that's why I want to do to show you this so in the worst case you will not lose some of your uh, re uh, precious item we go over here let's say uh, I want to duplicate my stuff and you can see I can duplicate a lot right I have tons of these in here okay that's good enough now I right click and fill everything here, activate it, choose whatever I want. 
So you see that now I have like 10 hours and because we froze the time, uh, the timer is not running if I unfreeze it. You can see the, the timer start counting, okay? And this Mac thing is very simple. You want to get the villager instantly, uh, change that like at 11 hour to your number here and boom. Your friend already came. Where is that? She coming. There we are. No. Well, whoever, but she came already. Now, after she came, or uh, he came, you can change it back to 10 and we're back into the day. Okay. And before you leave the game, um, I highly recommend that for, for some of the item like the Jordan Blood over here, if you want to keep them, just put them in here and do not activate it, just leave it there and save the game and quit. That's it. So that's all about this table. Thank you for watching and I will see you back in the next games. Thank you.